As we leave 2020 and move into 2021, I would like to share some reflections on the past 365 days. The events of the past few years, such as Silicon Valley directed social media censorship and the pandemic of 2020, has led me to believe that we are entering an unfortunate era of increasing control by governments. One thing that really struck me these past few years is the huge amount of inaccurate information being propagated by news channels. One example being the coverage of Donald Trump as US President. There have been obvious inaccuracies when it came to reporting of his policies across the four years of his administration. The Covid disinfectant story, for example, was just one example of how the media took what he said out of context and blew it up into something far bigger. During the election of 2020, for example, Twitter began to censor the president's tweets. I felt that this was a dangerous precedent that had been set. If they can censor someone like him, you can definitely bet that they can censor you and me if we post something they don't like. This feeds into the greater theme of free speech which came under severe attack during 2020. What was really scary in 2020 was not so much the pandemic but the stifling of alternative views to the mainstream orthodoxy when it came to how to deal with the situation. During a November 2020 radio interview, the former British Supreme Court Justice Lord Sumption argued against the UK's government's approach to the pandemic. He thought, and I quote, that fear had been skillfully and deliberately used to ensure compliance, close quote. Funnily enough, Lord Sumption was the speaker at the 2019 BBC Wreath Lectures, during which he expressed his own thoughts on the increasing authoritarian approach of governments. His first lecture entitled Laws Expanding Empire is absolutely fascinating, and I plan to do a video on this at some point in the future. I feel his lecture conveys much of the same thoughts that I have had on this topic for the past few years. Going forward into 2021, I feel that this current trend of authoritarianism will only accelerate. Even without the pandemic situation unfolding, the trend towards more control of society would have already continued. The pandemic will only accelerate this trend. We can talk all day about vaccines vaccine passes, viral testing, etc. This only adds to the degree of control, even if it was well-intentioned at the time. Just to be clear, I am definitely not anti-vaccine, as I have my flu vaccine each year. All I'm saying is that society is changing into a more controlled and managed version of what it once was. So as we move into 2021, it is almost impossible to imagine a society that will return to the levels of freedom we had become used to previously. Watch this space, let's see what happens. Anyway, hope to see you soon. Catch up next time.